Hey there, Nicole again. Uh, right now we're going to go over creating keyword buckets uh, after we have, of course, chosen Arto. Uh, following up on my previous video, you can see here we do have a list of the target page and some of the respective keywords that we want to target to that page. Uh, now, this, of course, has all been pre-built out before the package came through. We have some additional blog posts we can use for secondary targeting. And this is excellent. This is what we want to see for a campaign uh, when we're at this stage. We want to have a nice list of pages that we can target. In some cases, we may only have one or two main target pages and then some additional uh, blog posts that we want to use as secondary targets. Uh, in some cases, we'll have five or six main target pages, as is the case with this one. This is a big national site. So uh, we want to try to hit a bunch of our really nice pages and bring in more traffic. Uh, right now, what we're going to do is build out our link strategy. So we want to know these questions up here to start. Uh, our brand name, is it an exact or partial match? Is the domain an exact or partial match? Keyword in the URL, we don't have any of those issues. Those are all issues that we need to augment our link building strategy and make sure that we're being more careful. <clears throat> so is it a home or internal pages ranking? I'm going to put both because we are going to be looking at a number of pages for this campaign. In most cases, we're going to choose one primary target. I could do so for this. I could say the home page is our primary target because it is. It's our most authoritative page. Uh, so for that, we would put home here. Uh, I am, again, just going to put both. Target keyword. Again, uh, this is going to be different for all the uh, pages below. So I'm, for this one, just going to put C below. In most cases, again, I would choose whether my main target page was a home or internal, and then I would write here the main target keyword, the head keyword that I want to use for my campaign. So going from here, uh, I do already have these listed out. Um, I'm going to go, <clears throat> I'm going to put some space in between these just because we are going to have to build out long tails. That's going to be an extensive list. I'll show you that a little bit later down the line. For right now, I am going to take this off of a different sheet that I have, and we're just going to go and put in our main keywords. Actually, I can pull it right from here. Whoops. All righty. We have a bunch of case studies in there for all kinds of different stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could absolutely say that. Um, you can run it at the same time. I mean, it doesn't really matter which one you start mm -hmm. first, yeah. I guess. Um, unless you kind of were trying to look at your budget and stay within a certain budget and one of your budgets to exist at the same time, then I would just mm -hmm. pick based on which one you'd rather focus on first, organic or map. Um, if it's something that all righty so here oh, we're going to yeah, have yeah, our main target pages and the main keywords that we want to focus on for those pages we do normally look for about five per page um but which is kind of like a copy these from elsewhere uh, we do normally look for five main exact match keywords per page but in a case like this where we're targeting a ton of different pages and you can see we have some that have a ton of top level keywords that we want to look at. Um, we just have a couple that have you know three here, five here. So that's perfectly fine. And we don't traditionally build out targets for our blog posts that we use for our deep link building. For these, we're generally going to use generic keywords or really long tail keywords uh, or even some partial or branded. We're nor not normally going to use exact match. Uh, and again, the majority of these are going to be more generic, branded type terms. So not anything to really worry about building out there. We just, of course, need to know um, what the pages are about so we can make effective keywords if we do use keywords at all. For this, we can build out variations and partials. Uh, okay, yes, I get the question. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, the white label is just uh, it's the subscription is ongoing until you cancel. So and every month is like um, it's adjusted for that. So as you get further down in the months, they're gonna adjust for the fact that you've already completed it the first. Alrighty, I'm just gonna leave it at that. There's not too many that I want to do there, and I will build out these in future, but I'm not gonna bother to do that on the video because it's pretty much gonna be more the same of me doing this. 
Uh, and also I'm going to have to move these down once I get my long tail and brand plus going. And again, I'll touch on that a little bit later. For right now, I do know that I'm not going to have geo modified, so I could change this column. Uh, it could be something like buy terms, which again are not going to be relevant for this site. Uh, it could be something like an installation or repair variation to our main terms, which again doesn't apply here. So I don't think I'm going to use this column at all. Uh, I can sometimes change it to be relevant to the business that we're working on. Uh, but again, for this one, it's just not going to be anything to really put in there that we're not going to have in some of these other columns. We're going to do our naked URL variations. Alrighty, and while we're here, we can go ahead and start building out our brand variations. So we have local client takeover, LTT. Yeah, like what specific tasks are you There you go. So those are going to be my brand name variations. Uh, theoretically, I could use local client as well. I did see that popping up as one of the main queries in Search Console, uh, but I'm going to leave that off. Actually, you know what? I'm going to add it, but I'm going to add it beneath the main three. Uh, for page title, this one's super easy. We actually use a plugin called SEO Minion, uh, which helps with just really easily grabbing page titles, descriptions, uh, checking your age tag, stuff like that. Does a lot of really cool, uh, really simple things. Just makes the data really easy to read. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. It's going to be my page title. Uh, LSI and Discovered, I don't have anything right now, but we're going to start doing the actual keyword research uh, in the next segment here, uh, and that's going to help us to determine what additional keywords we want to build out here. So I have another tab over here. Let me just grab this quick. I've written down the main keywords for each page. So for this one, it's going to be our local SEO training. We're just going to go ahead and search that. Now, if this were a local business, we would want to do something uh, using a local search. You can use I search from. Uh, there's also a bright local tool that will kind of mimic your search for you. So those are tools that we would use in order to complete this for a local business. But this is national, so really we're just looking for what comes up first. And I'm just going to pull a couple of these, and I'm going to see what these pages look like, what they are and whether or not they're relevant to my own target page. So this one, Udemy's got some local SEO courses. These are actually paid courses, so not exactly a comparison, but close enough. We're going to use that. We have local SEO here. This is just a landing page. And this, again, is a paid training, so I'm all right with this one. We're going to go with that. Expert's Guide to Local SEO. This is looking good. Again, pricing here that we don't normally, don't care about for this. This is just step-by-step -step training courses. Yeah, okay. So I got these four. These look good enough to be competitors for this page. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some of these and start throwing them in Ahrefs. Um, sometimes you won't find that the pages that are up top are good enough competitors. Uh, you want to continue trying other keywords, trying other uh, topics, looking a little bit further down in some cases, trying to find the most relevant pages possible. Now, I did already determine my head keywords, and I do that mostly by search volume. Uh, so local SEO training for the set of keywords we're targeting for our main page, that was our highest volume one, so that's going to be the one that we're using. Uh, and you'll see some of the other ones uh, a little bit later on when I've completed the sheet. But for this, we're going to put these competitors in here, and we want to look at what keywords these competitors are ranking for organically. We just want to take a glance. Now, this one's pretty easy to look at all of them. Uh, we have things like best local SEO. And I'm just going to write some of these down on the side. Uh, let's see, a lot of these are specific to Udemy, and so we don't want those, of course, because that's not our brand. 
Mm, I don't think software really applies. How much charge for local SEO? That's more of a long tail one. And I'm not sure if that one's going to apply too much to our training page, but we'll check that out. Um, throw this one in. All righty. I went ahead and paused this for a little bit. Uh, sorry for the skip. I just didn't want to have to do a video where I'm just continuously sifting through competitor sites for keywords. So I did go ahead and go through the four that I pulled uh, through Ahrefs, looking at their organic keywords. I pulled anything that I felt was relevant to my page. Uh, and you can see I've added some of those under the LSI discovered. In this case, these are kind of more closer to variation. Um, I just want to have these in a separate column, so I'm going to leave them over here. Uh, I do have a couple more variations, or not variations, partials that I was able to pull, and a couple of slightly longer tail keywords. Uh, so we have a good start here for this page. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our head keyword, and we can actually do this first and skip the, uh, the stages that I was just doing. Uh, I like to keep it separated personally, but we can do both at once. And the way we do that is by using the Ahrefs Keyword Explorer. As soon as this loads. So we're going to go ahead and put our main keyword in here. And that's going to tell us how difficult this keyword is. It's going to show us the respective search volume, CPC, such and such. Uh, let me show you this on US. It's also going to give us the parent topic, which for us is our main keyword. So one of my goals here when choosing the main keywords is to get a keyword that ends up being the parent topic because otherwise I have to go a level higher. Uh, so in this case we're doing good. This is our parent topic and if we click this uh, we can see the top competitor here. Here we go. Here are the top ranking pages. Uh, for this keyword and it gives us a percentage of the keyword share that they have for this. So uh, that's another way we can pull our competitors. Uh, there is something else that we can do. I just can't quite remember where it is. There's another page that gives you the list of the competitors. Is it down here? Yeah. Alrighty. So here we are again uh, and this is what I was looking for actually where we can see not only the top pages ranking but we can also see the, uh, the UR, the URL rating number of backlinks, uh, we can see the keywords and the traffic, of course, So, and the search volume for the top keyword, which of course we should already know. <clears throat> Sorry. So we can grab our competitors right from here and uh, click through these and go directly to the organic keywords from there. But this is also going to give us some good ideas <clears throat> as to what keywords we need to be using for our own site. Uh, we can rule out anything branded, of course. I believe we do have this one. Let me just check. Let me add that here. There we are. Alrighty. So we can go through here and look at either all of them. Uh, we can sort by different settings. There's a good one. So I'm just going to write some of these down as I go. because some of these could end up being good keywords that I want to use. Now you can see here only this first one really has any volume, but uh, write down a couple of these because some of these are relevant to my site. And again, we're not really seeing any volume here. Okay. There's another partial.
No course, local courses. Oh, we do have that one, all right. All righty. I think we have enough terms here to be able to uh, move on to the next segment which is going to be these pulling of the long tail keywords. We're going to do that in another video. We're also going to do brand plus. Uh, but for now, this is what we're doing with all of the pages. I'm going to run through here and build out the strategy for the remaining pages uh, and go ahead and do the same process I've been doing with competitor analysis, where we're looking at what the competitors are using for their or what they're ranking for organically. Um, we're also looking at what Ahrefs recommends based on all of the pages uh, or all of the sites I should say I believe on page one so stay tuned for the next segment of the video where we're going to go over these L or not LSI these long tail keywords and the brand plus keywords how we generate those and uh, what those look like